Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then I welcome you. If you love watching handbag videos, then definitely hit the subscribe button. But let's go ahead and jump into this video. I am going to be doing something, y'all, that I have never done on my channel. And that is to dedicate an entire month to a specific brand. So for the entire month of June, y'all, we are going to be talking all things MCM. I will be talking to you all a little bit about the history of the brand, telling you all about the items that I recommend when starting your MCM collection. And of course, we cannot do a month of MCM without some reveals. I will be coming to y'all with a few MCM reveals. So if that is something that you all are interested in, then I do hope that you stick around during the series. And I hope that y'all just enjoy it. Now, to really just understand the brand, in this video, we will be talking about the history of the brand. I do want to um, point out some important people within this brand and also even discuss whether or not MCM is indeed considered luxury or not. So to get started, MCM was founded in Germany in 1976 by Michael Cromer. And at that time, MCM did stand for Michael Cromer Munchen, which in English, that is pronounced Munich. But now MCM now stands for Modern Creation Munich. Now in the 80s, y'all, and 90s, MCM was really known for their signature material called Cognac Vecettos. So I know for me, when I was growing up, that's when I saw this cognac material, I automatically knew that it was an MCM piece. Now, at that time, MCM was also known for its brass plate that was found on all of their items. Um, so as you all can see here on my lids, the brass plate is right here on the front. This brass plate, y'all, holds a serial number that is unique to this particular item. Also, too, on the logo, as you all can see, right underneath the MCM, there is also the laurel leaves, which is a global symbol of victory, valor, and honor. Now, sadly, y'all, in 1995, Michael Cromer had got into a little tax situation, which forced him to have to sell off the brand. And if y'all can imagine, you know, back then, really loving this brand and all of a sudden knowing that it was going to have to be sold, no one really knew what was going to happen to this brand. However, in 2005, the brand was acquired by the Song Chu Group, which was founded by Song Chu Kim. Now, I really admire her, y'all, because with her business being in South Korea, she took on this German brand and she did start producing the brand's items in South Korea, but at the same time, she did keep that German heritage. And that's what I love so much about the story, y'all, is the fact that although the brand was sold off, it was still able to keep with the heritage in the sense of having the brass plate logo and also keeping with that classic Cognac Vecettos. I know the question that everyone may want to know is, is MCM considered a luxury brand? Yes, absolutely. MCM is now considered a luxury brand. Now, some may still argue that it is not a luxury brand, but according to Wikipedia, it is now a luxury brand. So yeah, this topic is not up for debate. Now, one of the things that I love about MCM too, y'all, is although it is a luxury brand, it does go on sale. So you can certainly find this brand on sale at your local department stores, such as Neiman Marcus, Bloomingdale's, even Saks. And again, some may say that with this brand going on sale, that it actually cheapens the brand in a sense. That is completely okay if one may think that. That does not change the fact that MCM is a bomb luxury brand, period. But I always wondered though about that, y'all. If having sales cheapens this luxury brand, then what does that to say about brands like YSL, Balenciaga, even Gucci, where you can actually find them on sale at department stores as well? You know what? We're not even going to go there. Let's move on. Now, I do want to also mention a very important person 
also within the MCM brand, y'all. And that person is the beautiful Misa Hilton. Misa Hilton, y'all, is a global partner of MCM. She is more of the behind the scenes. And I feel like with Misa, y'all, she really brought this luxury brand into the hip-hop culture. So she has actually created a few custom pieces for celebrities, y'all, like Little John, um, Mary J. Blige, Little Kim, Diplo, Beyonce, Meg Thee Stallion, um, Kanye West. Y'all, the list goes on. Like, Misa Hilton has created so many custom pieces for so many celebrities. And not only that, y'all, but when it comes to the handbags, there's even been celebrities seen rocking the luxury brand as well. So like uh, Beyonce, Selena Gomez, Taraji Henson, Rihanna, and then I had to throw this one in too because I think she is just the cutest, y'all. And that is Imani. She is the daughter of Little Scrappy. And as you all can see here, she is rocking the iconic medium lids and the cognac facetto. So as you all can see, y'all, MCM has really taken off. I feel like it is a luxury brand that has definitely earned its name in the luxury world. And at this point, y'all, in 2022, it can certainly be talked about in the same conversation like other luxury brands such as, as Louis Vuitton, Fendi, and even Balenciaga. So yeah, y'all, that is pretty much the history of MCM in a nutshell. I had so much fun researching about this brand, y'all, learning a little bit more about its heritage, as well as the, the different celebrities that are now rocking this brand. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. If you did, then certainly give it a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!